Good morning. I'm back with the um, last phase of the wood handle that I'm doing. Here it is. Used epoxy to bind it all together. We've got the Amboina, the Claro, the Buffalo Horn, the uh, Poplar centerpiece, and the blade will fit in just like this. So I want to say thanks to everybody who continues to watch um, as I figure out this whole video making process. So before I put that blade in there, I'm going to go right over there to the buffer and I'm going to buff the handle. You can see there's a wire wheel right next door, and uh, I don't want any of that in my eye. I also want to apologize. As I said before, I'm I'm just learning how to do these videos, and um, I'm hoping that one day I'll be able to make a, a short for you and kind of cut out some of the stuff and uh, keep you in the interesting parts. So I'm going to use the the. Uh, that high strength epoxy and I'm going to go ahead and put that. Isn't that pretty though? Look at that. That's a uh, lace obsidian. People are going to call it trifolo. People are going to call it mahogany. This is a name within the name. This is midnight lace. It's had some nice uh, clear material and bands and it's got a little mahogany in it. You want to find what I have available to uh, if you're interested in picking one of these up you can find them on flintknappers.com and in the gallery is Kenny Hall there's a lot of other talented artists on that page So 
on the topic of learning how to do these videos the video between the first one and this one for some reason it's in my gallery but I can't seem to bring it up for for YouTube and that was where I um, where I attached all the pieces together and where I bonded them with the with the epoxy and then cut it to shape and there was obviously some sanding and whatnot. Probably what I'm gonna to have to do is I'll have to put it in the vise when I'm done to hold it upright while the Epoxy hardens. So it's take a nice big dollop of that. Get it down in there and work it in. that little bit of just take that wipe it wipe it One of the upsides of doing this is that I have polished the handle rather than use a spray finish, which allows me to get that excess glue off of there. Let me put that in the vise and let it dry. Thanks for watching.